A Native American tribe near the mouth of the Columbia River is hoping for some movement in its quest to be officially recognized by the U.S. government. The Chinook Indian tribe has a long and storied history in the Pacific Northwest, but as Fox 12's Simon Gutierrez explains, they haven't enjoyed the benefits awarded to neighboring tribes. Chinook tribal leaders thought they had finally achieved federal recognition back in 2001, but 18 months later, that decision was abruptly reversed. The tribe has been fighting to get its recognized status back ever since. So we're heading to Johnson Beach. Walking next to his father, Chinook Tribal Chairman Tony Johnson feels a deep connection to the land that the Chinook people have called home for generations. Our traditional stories talk about every landform here, all the rocks in the bay. The Chinook Tribal Office sits in Bay Center, Washington. Here, the tribe offers pallets of food for its 3,000 enrolled members. Regular salmon harvests and traditional ceremonies are held here too. But there is also a sense of sadness here and a longing for more. Every single day we are reminded of what we can't do for our tribal members. Despite its long history, the Chinook tribe is not officially recognized by the U.S. government. Tribal leaders engaged in treaty talks with the government in the late 1800s and documents show payments from the government to tribal members, but the Chinook refused to move from their ancestral lands and didn't sign an official treaty. Our whole community here is, you know, tribal lands. Gary Johnson, Tony's father, was tribal chairman before him, fighting for federal recognition for decades. In 2001, he celebrated a victory, a decision by the Bureau of Indian Affairs to finally grant the Chinook federally recognized status. But unexpectedly, the agency reversed its decision 18 months later after an objection by another Washington tribe. Does it seem to you like a betrayal? I don't think you can look at the United States' interaction with us as anything but betrayal after betrayal. Very, very tough day. As I stand here, the wounds are still deep. And so their fight continues to this day. Johnson and other tribal leaders are pushing for a bill to grant the Chinook federally recognized status and meeting with the leaders of the tribe who opposed their recognition in 2002. We have asked them expressly to, to provide us with a statement of support for our bill, or at least a statement that says they will be neutral and not oppose it. See, pretty much the house pretty well did sit where those trees are. That's the story, right? Johnson feels like the Chinook have momentum on their side. He's cautiously optimistic that tribal recognition is, once again, on the horizon. We deserve to be acknowledged by the federal government, and we deserve to be right alongside every other tribal community in the Pacific Northwest. There have been other attempts to gain federal recognition through an act of Congress. The Chinook Restoration Act, introduced in the House of Representatives in 2009, eventually stalled in a House committee. Tribal leaders are hoping this time around things go differently. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.